Welcome back to PokerNews.com, where we have all of your World Series of Poker 2018 coverage, sponsored by 888 Poker. Now today, Friday, June 15th, is a big action-packed day here at the Rio. First up is the Marathon Tournament with a $2,620 buy-in and 100-minute levels. Yeah, long levels, hence the name, the Marathon. We have nine players left coming into today. You can watch the final table streamed on Twitch and Poker Go. And there's some pretty big names in there. First of all, World Series of Poker main event champion 2014, Martin Jacobson. He took down the $10 million first place prize and is known for playing what many call flawless final table poker to take down his bracelet back in 2014. He comes in second in chips. Last in chips is Kate Hall, who has over a million dollars in live tournament earnings. Of course, she has 22 big blinds and with 100 minute levels, anything goes. All you need, chip in a chair, as they say. Another notable face at that final table is Taylor Parr, Tay Parr, who does have a WSOP bracelet and a WPT win for taking down Bay 101 back in 2015 over $650,000 for first place. So stay tuned to find out who wins the marathon. We will also be playing down to a bracelet in the 3K6 Max, which is one of the player's favorite tournaments since you get to play quite a few more hands when you're only six-handed. There are some legendary people left. 20 people came into today. Jason Mercier, you got Anna Marquez who took down the 888 Live Bucharest 2K back in March. and. Uh, WPT commentator Tony Dunst, also a bracelet winner, still in the mix for that bracelet. Now we're not done. We're still heads up in the 10K horse tournament, which they were trying to finish last night, but they couldn't. So we're going to have a third bracelet given out in that tournament today. Fourth bracelet of the day. I told you it was an action-packed day. Seven players remain in the 1500 limit 2-7 low ball triple draw. Han Tran leads the field. This would be his first bracelet win, but he does have over 300k in live caches. And of course, three-time bracelet winner Brian Hastings looking for that fourth bracelet. The $1,500 seven card stud tournament returns today with 88 players. And no, I didn't just say that because 888 is our sponsor. There's some pretty big names in the field, Brandon Jack Harris, Elke, and six-time bracelet winner and 2009 WSOP Player of the Year, Jeff Lissandro. Finally, there are two of my favorite tournaments of the year that start today. We got day one of the seniors event, 1K buy-in with one re-entry, huge numbers last year. We had a record-breaking 5,389 entries last year. Stay tuned to see if we can break that number this year. And one of the most prestigious poker tournaments, or so they say, is the 50K Poker Players Championship. Not only is it a nosebleed buy-in of $50,000, but players have to play several games. No Limit Hold'em, Seven Card Stud, Omaha High Low Eight or Better, Raz, PLO, Limit Hold'em, Seven Card Stud High Low Eight or Better, and Deuce to Seven Low Ball Triple Draw Six Handed. So that's going to be a really exciting field with a lot of notables. So, huh, I'm exhausted. Are you? That's all the crazy stuff going on at the Rio today. And uh, please stay tuned to PokerNews.com for your live updates or watch with a 30 minute delay on Poker Go or Twitch.